Mayor Adams unveiling his 2024 budget with a record-breaking $106.7 billion proposal. That is $4 billion more than what the mayor had pitched back in January. And this is despite asking almost all city agencies to make cuts. Chris Welch here now with details of the plan. Chris. Yeah, Stephen Natasha, the mayor says he's been able to balance this budget all while incorporating what he says are the, quote, storm clouds on the horizon. He says the influx of migrants will cost the city billions. He's trying to make up some of those costs by asking city agencies to make cuts, but he also said today the cuts to libraries will not be as bad as initially planned. We realize that not everyone will be happy. But Mayor Eric Adams says that's okay with him if it means, in his words, getting stuff done. And getting stuff done, he says, will come at a cost. According to Adams, 35,000 asylum seekers are currently in the city's shelters and humanitarian relief centers. And he expects that number to double by summer 2024, costing the city an estimated $4.3 billion. Adams is hoping the state budget will include $1 billion for asylum seekers. But that budget, now nearly a month overdue. Albany will do Albany, and we are cautiously optimistic of that. The mayor was asked if the state's budget delay has shaken his confidence in Governor Kathy Hochul. I am not a fair, fair, fair weather friend. In recent weeks, New York's public libraries have pushed back on the mayor's requested cuts, saying it would be forced to cut some weekend services. But Adams has now confirmed he's backed off on some of those cut requests, but the libraries will still be facing $36 million in prior cuts. I have been a supporter of libraries since my day of the state senate. I don't like having to find e efficiencies in any of my agencies. The mayor was also asked about the city's recently approved contracts with various labor groups, including with police, and why the PBA was granted more money, while the NYPD is also responsible for the vast majority of overtime costs. He suggested that simply posing that question amounted to anti-police rhetoric. And if it's anti-police, shame on us. These men and women put their lives on the line. Now, as is always the case with things like this, nothing is final until the mayor's counterparts in the city council sign off as well. The whole process must be complete by July 1st.